Hey guys, we're back. Thank you for joining me today. Today is the color of the month collab between me and Nate Bright, where we choose a color that we're both gonna play with, with other colors, create palettes and techniques with that color and everything. And today, well, this month our color is silver. And I think I'm gonna try an open cup. I have not done an open cup in forever. So I've got my silver. And that is a combination of Liquitex, or, jeez, get it together, Julie. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really tired. I am in the process of moving. We just signed the lease, but I have been doing some pre-packing, and I'm just exhausted. And you should see my table. Well, maybe you shouldn't see my table here. I just got this one little clean spot. <laughs> Because we're just cranking out artwork, trying to make sure I have enough content to to last throughout the breakdown and the resetup of the studio in the new place. So please forgive me for my mistakes, my gaffes, and everything else. I'm a bit scattered. Um, so we're using Sergeant Art Liquid Metals in silver. And I combined that with some Saks Versatemp Heavy Body Tempura Paint. I love this stuff. Um, I can't remember if it was Jilly Cube that had said one time that tempura paints are basically acrylic paints once you put them in a binder. So there you go. I'm going to trust her. She's been doing this longer than me. So, but there's her silver. Now, this is a really pretty shade. It is a combination of Burnt Sienna by Creative Inspirations. Uh, I got that from Jerry's Artorama. And with that, I mixed Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. So we've got the QNAC, we got the Burnt Sienna. I've been trying to cook with these Siennas, man, but they're, they always come out burnt. <laughs> that out <laughs> okay and then the next color I'm going to use is a blue I saw Mina using an indigo the other day I think hers was through deco art maybe I can't remember which um, indigo she used or maybe it was um, I bet it was the Amsterdam expert series but I'm going to be using the Lucas Krill studio acrylics in indigo and I love it because it dries dark, but we're also using a white as our base. And um, then through the open cup, and that is a combination of, of Artist Loft Flow White, Soft Body White now. I still can't get it right. Um, <laughs> the Artist Loft Soft Body White and the Deco Art Satin Enamel. I mix those, oh gosh, I put about maybe two teaspoons in with about, oh, I don't know, maybe five teaspoons of the Artist Loft. And then I put a great big squirt of the Vallejo Pearl Medium into that, mixed it all together. These are all mixed with just Floetrol and then a squirt of GAC 800. This is the American Floetrol. And there goes stuff falling on my table because it's so loaded up with different products. <laughs> I've been jumping back and forth too. All right, so let me go ahead and get started. Uh, I cannot remember, and it's a little wonky, but we'll get that. It'll work out in the wash. Um, this canvas is a reused canvas that I have Gessoed, let's see, it is a 12 by, that's 18, it'll be 24, so 12 by 24, that's what we're going to be using, and as I mentioned, we're going to be using an open cup, so I'm just going to cut the top off this little paper cup, and then we're going to spin it around on top, hopefully it'll come out pretty, fingers crossed. I got the base cut down and everything now, and I'm looking for a little piece of cup that <laughs> I was using. Uh, excuse me, one moment. <laughs> there it is. Oh, goodness. <laughs> 
the last week. It's just like since Thanksgiving weekend has just been a comedy of errors, just constant comedy of errors. So, <laughs> sorry, I got the giggles. I am just, um, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm goofy. <laughs> Let me put it that way. All right, so uh, I think I want to start down at this corner, and I'm gonna put a little bit of puddle of paint right there, a little puddle of the base. And we'll put our cup in right there. <laughs> there we go. And then this is um, the same exact white. It's just not thinned down as much as the base coat. So I'm just going to go around that and a little bit inside. There we go. And yeah, let's start off with the blue, our beautiful indigo. Beautiful, beautiful indigo. Yeah, I saw Mina using this and was just like, oh my giddy aunt. I have to try that. I have to use that color again. It's just too pretty. Okay, then let's add our silver. Woo, there we go, we're starting to travel a little. And then our Quinag burnt sienna, yeah, burnt sienna mixture. And a little bit more white. And a little bit more blue. And a little bit more silver. Love this silver. I think this is the same silver that I used when I did Artemis, the um, pearl pour for Artemis. It was for National Women's Day and I was inspired by the um, NASA Artemis program that is going to be launching women to the moon and I think it's an awesome program. I'm excited for it. I'm putting some more blue in there. I'm gonna put some of the Cunag right next to that blue. Let's see what colors we get. I wonder if we're gonna get any little green. I don't know. I didn't think of that until after I poured it. Oops. All right, some silver. There we go. And we'll give it another little twisty spinny. And then one more. I think we'll do one more shot. I'm gonna go with the white again. And again with the blue. There we go. This time, a shot of the silver. And then the cuneag on top of that. There we go. And then we'll twist it back up this way. Ooh, check that out. I got some CUNA Excels coming up. I'm digging that. I am digging that. All right, let me wipe off my gloves and we'll give it a quick little torchy. sit and develop any more than that, but we're just going to start tilting it out. I think I need a little bit more white on there. A little bit more white just to help it flow. There we go. Just to help it kind of slide back and forth a little bit. 
out. I'm going to try and walk it down this way. Oh, there we go. I'm going to have paint between my toes. And off that corner. There we go. And I'm okay with leaving some negative space. top corner white. Gonna leave that. Come on, go more towards the center. There we go. There. And down. And I'm liking it. I am liking it and I'm leaving it. That's how it's gonna hang. Just how you're seeing it right there. I like that. And it, I have got paint off my tablet. Cleans up nice and easy. Um, if you have a stainless steel table and you end up with paint that you can't get up right away, just get yourself some acetone, some nail polish remover, 100% real acetone, and you shouldn't have a problem. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this right here where it's at and get these messy, icky gloves off. God, what a disaster my gloves are. Um, yeah, there's paint all over my floor. Uh, before I cut and leave you guys to go see dry results, I want to remind you that before me was Mina Villegas Art, and after her was Brian of Brian's Upper Valley Artistry, and then, of course, we've got my buddy, my pal, my collaboration partner, Nate Bright Ert. Please go check them all out right after you see the dry results. And then, yeah, leave them likes and comments just like you do for me. I appreciate it. Hey guys, I uh, wanted to show you real quick. Sorry for the glare, but it's coming along really cool. I am really digging this. I really like this a lot. <laughs> it's got such a cool organic feel to it. And I think, hold on, let me grab this so I don't fall, but I'm thinking this corner here will be the bottom and that will be the top up there and hang it lengthwise. Because, yeah, let's see if I can get it around here with that. I haven't to show you too much of my disaster studio, but yeah, that's that's what I'm loving right there. Really loving that. Okay, I'll see you back hopefully for dry results. Hello, <laughs> we are in my kitchen because uh, <laughs> the lighting in here is great and the weather outside is awful. So, <laughs> but here are the dry results and I have to say I'm super pleased with this one. There are so many cool details in this. I mean, some of these cells are just weird, wonky, and cool as heck. Um, I don't know what that is. It's like they're little flowers or something. It's so cool. And then, of course, these ones up here, so cute. Get my fingers out of the way. So cute. I love this area down here. And I love how the silver kind of blended with the um, Azo, Azo Gold. 
and created these shadows of brown and gray and dark, dark blue with the indigo. It just, I'm really, really loving this. Look at that one. Isn't that cool? I was baffled by how the Azo Gold just sold up and then it kept growing. They kept growing and growing and they all grew together. <laughs> Uh, that's one of the things I love about fluid art. God, oh, I love that. Isn't that beautiful? It's like watercolor. I love it. Um, but yeah, it's one of the things I love about fluid art. It's like a chemistry experiment combined with art. And I just, I'm always going to love it. There it is, all dry. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you liked the color palette, because I really dig it. And I will see you again next Wednesday, my new time. I'm so excited. All right, till next time, loves and hugs y'all. Bye.